To give a child a seat at school is the finest gift that you can give. That is a quote from Pope Francis, and it's qu quite apropos for Sisters Academy of Baltimore. We've got Assistant Principal Gabrielle Hurley here, along with 8th grader Andrea Estrada and 6th grader Madison Martinez. Welcome, you three. Thank Welcome. you. I'm happy to have you all here. I want to start with you, Ms. Hurley. Tell us a little bit more about the mission of your school. Yes, so Sisters Academy of Baltimore is a Catholic independent all girls school located in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. uh, we are community centered and we focus on empowering our students to become agents of transformation in their own lives, in their communities, um, and in the world. So our goal is for our graduates to be well educated, mm -hmm. self-assured, and spiritual young women who will be able to have a positive impact in their own lives, their families, their community, as well as the world. I think that's an amazing mission and really to say that up front and make sure that you're doing that for your students is, is wonderful. On top of that, I know that you have a really strong academic program there as well. Yeah, so our academic program actually focuses on the symbol of the star. So there's five points to a star and there are five points in our curriculum. So we focus on not only the academic component, which is very important, but we also focus on the spiritual, the social, the emotional, and the physical development of our students, of our young girls. So our academics, um, we begin in the fifth grade, although we're in middle school, and that fifth grade year is really beneficial because mm -hmm. they are able to have a whole year to transition to our academic environment and the curriculum before those traditional middle school years begin. That makes sense. So they're sort of getting that uh, that extra boost yes. to be ready for middle school. And I know that you also have an extended day program. Madison, you're a part of that program, right? Yes. Okay, and you've been a part of it about a year, is that correct? Yes. Tell me a little bit more about it. The SCB extended day program, it really have different opportunities mm -hmm. to do many. Is it like doing your homework after school or is it different projects after school? We have like activities like art, music, green girls, cooking, athletics, and many more. So it sounds like it's a lot of like different interests. No matter what it is that you're interested in, there might be something after school that, that you can do. I see a picture here. I don't know what that is. What is, what is this going on here? <laughs> do you know? Yes, yeah, so this is like the theater part of it. Got and it. We're in the photo, we're making a blinking eye. Got it. All right. So there, again, I heard theater. I heard cooking. I heard activities like sports. I heard I'm looking at a um, a microscope here. Like there, there's literally something for everybody. Yes. Okay. So what have you found in your extended day program that you've liked? I like the music programs, and I like them because. I get to play, perform, and make music of my own sometimes. That is great. And then also, Andrea, I know that you are an eighth grader and you are getting some graduate support because pretty soon you're going to be out of these doors and, and ready to take on high school. What does the graduate support look like for you? Okay. Um, thank you. Graduate support is a program where the teachers help the students get into their top choice high school. Graduate support has been a huge support to me throughout the entire school year especially as I decided what high schools I wanted to attend and what I wanted my future to look like. So you were able to talk to them about some of the, the options that you have ahead of yourself without sort of being in your own head about it. You had someone that you could talk to and, and walk through those steps. Yes. That's amazing. And I know that's really important for, for your students, not just right now, but beyond, right? Yeah, yeah. So Andrea has kind of experienced the, the middle school component of the graduate support program. But really, the journey begins when you walk outside of our doors. Because again, as our goal is for them to uh, really have a positive impact, mm -hmm throughout their lives. Yes. The graduate support program, um, when they're in high school, we visit them, we maintain meaningful relationships wow. with them, make sure their academics are being maintained. Um, and then even through college, we complement wow. that, um, which is why I think we have so many alumni that come of back course. to the school. Why wouldn't to, you? Yeah. You've got your hands on that. As Even when they leave, you're helping to support. I want people to find out about more about Sisters Academy of Baltimore. You've got an open house that is happening. That is March 20th from 2 to 4, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, so just go to sistersacademy.org to sign up to make sure that they can attend. Yes, absolutely. All right, perfect. I want to thank you three so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank and we'll be right us. back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.